Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Toronto Tarot. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. This is going to be Taurus and Scorpio sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. What the hell is going on, Taurus? <laughs> Off the rip. Struggle. Just saying, what's, what's really going on? So, this is going to be your December, January roll into the new year reading this is don't by any means take this as the yearly it certainly is not um let me get the cards down on the table because i want to know missed opportunities and timings the four cups nine of swords the challenge the ten of wands you feeling overwhelmed towards you feel a little stressed out kind of people please Trying to deal with everybody's shit but yours. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, not good, not good. Scorpio, if you're a cross watcher, what the hell? Man. So the Four of Cups is pulling the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Nine of Swords is pulling the Three of Swords. And the Ten of Wands for the uh, Challenge is pulling the Four of Swords. Ooh, wow. Ooh, we do, we do, we do. Ooh. So the Strength card pulled the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups. Looks Justice card. Yeah, this is messing with your balance source. The World card on top of the Lovers, yeah, that's the ending. Um, you would know it's, it's the front end, which is a vision that reconciles opposites. Even <laughs> That's not what's there. Um, the Ten of Pentacles on top of the Hermit. The Two of Cups on top of the Knight of Swords. And the Hierophant on top of the Ace of Swords. Um, that's you. You pulled the back end of the Hierophant, which is about inner purity. And in this instance, it's about Taurus. You making sure that whatever decisions you're making about yourself in this relationship or out of it, you are fully aware of what you're doing and your motives are good for doing said whatever. Oddly enough, though, the back or the front end of this is about a new path. So I have a strange feeling a lot of y'all are going to break up this little whatever it is this is this feels like the situation ship people y'all ain't really in a relationship but y'all ain't just talking okay, anybody is in my age group you know what i'm saying this is that kind of do what you want to do but <laughs> whatever the rules are for being in a situation ship this is what this feels like and Taurus, it feels like to me, you are kind of, or at least you were at one point, thinking about, this is serious. But as you go along here, Scorpio is giving you a lot of problems. So with the Wheel of Fortune on top of the Four of Cups, oddly enough, the Four of Cups talks about missed opportunities. <laughs> But the Wheel of Fortune talks about opportunity seeds. So for some of you, this may be a second go around. Um, trying to catch the timing and it just feels like you didn't do that the first or the second time for those of you that are double dipping. Um, and for you tours, you may well be feeling like, you know, this was some wasted time trying to trying to even deal with this situation there's some component of likableness here 
chemistry, if you will. It feels like the two of you like each other, but trying to, and that's how Taurus Scorpio relationships go. Either y'all all in or you're all out. Um, there's no kind of skirting the gray area, and that might be the problem. Um, Scorpio is suspicious by nature. Yeah. You may be keeping your distance because you, you, something in you, Taurus, is saying something is wrong. So you may be keeping your distance, and this may be keeping you up at night. Trying to figure out what the hell, who the hell, what the hell. Um, your object for the next month or so, Taurus, is to call a truce. Just, just wherever you can do it, even if it's with yourself. Just call a truce because ultimately this is overwhelming you. And being overwhelmed, the next thing to come after that is depression. And if, come on, let's just be fucking for real. 2020, 2020, enough. You don't need extra. So you may just need to, it's stubborn, I know, Taurus, I feel you. But you may just have to call a truce until you get in a better headspace. This is definitely for those of you that are not cohabitating, but again, situationships, kind of in and out type of thing, or just a kind of serious dating relationship, for lack of a better. But you are definitely, you, it's, it's, something is making you hold back, Taurus. You really can't see whatever, something is making you hold back. Looking at this first week, the Ten of Wands on top of the string. Um, may have to just face the reality of the situation. It just ain't. It ain't. It ain't. If you're struggling this hard, where is it trying too hard? At the end of this, the lover's card, the world card. Taurus, you, you're trying too hard. If it's not coming naturally, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. But just out the gate, this is where you are right now. Just foot worried up all night, blah da 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 da. Just this card talks about the destruction of balance. Okay, that's where it is. So, Miss Scorpio. Your cut person may be a little too controlling. That might be a problem. They keep looking at this like, huh? But that that fits. Um, and it, it is literally justice with the scales, old girl here. It's literally destroying your balance, Taurus. Um, and there's really no way around us. This is major energy. If I have to say this here because it's here. If you continue in the same vein with your Scorpio, this is not it, it's not gonna end well. It's just too hmm, two very dominant forces, Taurus and Scorpio. I don't give a damn what you got in your natal chart. Taurus and Scorpio just by themselves have to carry their own weight um if it's not working i'd be rolling into the new year I'm just like old girl here swinging around i'm just saying this is feeling like you're just trying too hard to make and that that is fucking nine of swords it got you up all night long you're trying to figure out how to, and, that, and that's in our nature as Tauruses. We have to, we have to fix shit. You know, what's wrong with it? What am I doing wrong? This is not you, Taurus. This is not you. Um, there's no reconciliation here with that. Now, the world card is a world card. I don't give a damn what deck it is by knowledge and wisdom, but. You, the, you, the two of you are not going to be able to reconcile where you are in life right at this point. You're not going to be able to. Um, it seems like Scorpio is kind of skirting the edges a little bit and not being completely truthful. 
Taurus, it seems like you might be giving up a lot um, and not getting as much back. And I don't know that I would be trying to do that. When we get to, this is New Year's week, the Hermit. I probably would kick in Hermit mode right now. I'm talking about security. That's where you're going to begin to get the balance back, that Virgo energy. And just kind of pulling it back to you. It might mean some phone calls go unanswered or text messages go unanswered. And start working on whatever you're missing, Taurus. Feels like some of y'all missing overtime and some other shit. Trying to be a good partner or be there, Bird and Ernie. And it's not working for you. And so now you may need to just redirect your focus on your money. The back end of this, isn't that odd? A serene setting? You ain't there. You need to put a material security. So if you can't get this, pretty much this is just what the car is doing. You work on this. Go get a dog and work on your money. Boom. Done. With the two of cups on top of the Knight of Swords, um, Scorpio may just kick it up a notch. And this may be a mental thing with them, especially if they're controlling in any kind of fashion. Um, they may be trying to manipulate you and just it's causing you just a lot of excess. A lot of excess. Um, as you get up right up on a new year, you'll begin to see things in the light of day as they are. Some things may come out. Things that Scorpio may not want to come out. Um, but it brings you here to the Hierophant and about you being clear on what you're doing because there's a new path. Just saying. And that Ace of Swords kind of confirms that. Making decisions, getting rid of your fears, getting back into emotional balance. Because it feels like a lot of you have just, this whole situation has just like blown you completely because you're giving so much and you feel like you're getting so little in return. Oh yeah, the devil's in the details. Eh? Two of swords and justice card one more time. Oh, um, there it is. But it's not going to come out to the middle of the month. Maybe even close to the end of January for some of you. But there's a third party situation going on. Um, the devil pulls the eight of wands. Two of swords pulls the queen of cups. The queen of cups. Oh, that's the king. The king of cups. Okay, I'm old. Can't see which one. Magician on top of the justice. Three of cups. Eight of cups. Eight of swords. The fool. Eight of cups. A lot of eights. Who's the eight of pentacles? Hmm. Let me come back to that. Um. It, it's, yeah, I, I had to put that there. It's a dead end. And, and this will become apparent as you go into this energy, into the month of January. It will become more apparent. You just are making any headway, and nobody is helping you clear up the misunderstandings. I'm just saying. Even though you've got a lot in this, Taurus, your hopes are in this, it's, it's upside down. It, Misunderstandings, they're not being cleared up. You calling, you're asking, what's going on? How come this, how come that? They call you back two days later. <laughs> Miss me with that shit. The King of Cups. Yeah, wasting your time on top of that Two of Swords. Just what you're doing, you're wasting your time. Whatever you were trying to get, you ain't getting. That conquest, and oh, guess what's on the back? Infidelity, I'm just saying. Uh, Scorpio, unfortunately, if you cross watching, I'm so sorry, but I'm so not sorry. Because if you're cheating, then you're stringing somebody along. Now I'm talking to Scorpio. 
But you know, matter of fact, Taurus, if this energy is reversed, and this is you. If you're cheating, you don't string people up. That, yeah, no, nah, that is so uncool. Getting people's hopes and wishes and things going, momentum going in a certain direction, and you're not serious. Um, but it feels like Scorpio is still going to try to hang on here for a hot second with this just, justice and the magician. They may get a little self-righteous on you, Taurus. I'm just saying. And the magician is, in this instance, not a good thing. I'm trying to, again, it's a controlling situation. Kind of control what you do. And part of the problem where all the nastiness is coming from because they can't control you, Taurus. That is just what it's saying. You may have to make some drastic decisions. Like this is talking about an emotional swamp. You gotta get up out of that. But definitely third party situation. And you can probably, for those of you this is resonating with, your know, mama say, eat the fish, leave the bones. Don't choke on what don't belong to you. Those of you that are in this situation, the problem very much so is that you are not controllable. And again, you do say what you want about the Zodiac, but Taurus and Scorpio are two powerhouse signs because they come with their own little special goodies. Night and day. There you go. That pretty much sums it up. Y'all are just like night and day. Um, with the fool on top of the eight of swords, don't be afraid. And this is the first time this has ever resonated on that level. Don't be afraid of retaliation, Taurus. Some of you may be feeling like Scorpio's going to try and get back at you, do something stupid, whatever, da-da-da-da. You keep moving forward. You keep moving forward. And if that means you need to turn your back, cut off the bone, do some other shit, I promise you, whatever you're doing, Taurus, it's making Scorpio act out. So that is a good indicator that they can't control you. They don't know what to do with you. That doesn't mean they don't like you. But they don't know what to do with you. So they're kind of just lashing out the way that they lash out. However, that's resonating. You keep moving forward, Taurus. At the end of this, Talking about leaving the past behind. Coming out of a situation you're not satisfied in. There is a caution there. It's flat ass caution. Keep your head down, Taurus. Or scope to it. We have, a, have whoever I'm saying this to. Keep your head down. And make sure you left your bra and panties over at your Scorpio's house and your shoes. You go get them before you do anything else. And then keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. And like I said at the beginning of this, you may have to call a truce with yourself just so you can keep moving forward. Towards you may want to get into a whole bunch of boo-ha-ha -ha with your Scorpio because they're feeling this lack of affection because you're not controlling you, you you're not controllable towards you just simply you're not a controllable beast sorry that's a good thing but to scorpio that's not a good thing but whatever the reason whatever scorpio is in this for i know scorpio goes it's not us it's the tars okay the energy here scorpio and that, yeah they like you a lot but they can't you're not controllable so at that point you're of no use to that person because you are not going you're not and it's something that happened recently. So I don't know if y'all got into a squabble or argument. Um and it just kind of tipped the scale way off. But don't let anything get you to the point where you are sick towards because you're trying to deal with a situation that really is not dealable. And just sit tight. With the information you want to know, what's going on behind the scenes, it's going to come out. It is going to come out. And that's been an energy in every reading I've done for the last two days. 
the, whatever's going on is going to come out. People that are deliberately doing shit, it's going to come out. Just that simple. Well, don't get no clearer than that, right? Do you. Do you. Calling a truce. And some of you may be ready to end this right now. Okay, I'm blocking, deleting, but you can't. Some of you, there may be some connection there still. There may be some function the two of you bought tickets to that you got to go to. Something, just call that truce and be patient. You already know what you're doing, Taurus. You already know you, you out the door. So just be patient. Don't tip your hand. Don't tip your hand on what you're doing. Don't go overboard. Um, trying to get somebody to see your point of it. It's not, don't, don't do it. It's not going to work. Because they can't hear you. Because you, you're already in their mind a deficit because you're not doing what they want you to do. So don't go overboard in trying to argue or trying to prove something. Once again, that truce card up there is definitely what you should be doing. Call the troops. Just call the damn troops. Um, that 10 is letting me know it's pretty much a dunner, a done dealer, done, deal, done. Be patient, Taurus. Don't tip your hand. Be cautious. Um, you know, at the end of relationships, people think they're not going to be able to do what they want to do. People have a tendency nowadays to just get irate. Um, keep your eyes and your ears open. Once you get out of January, now that I'm talking to Taurus now, you should be able to see your way clear. This should just turn into some color, whatever that is. Um, but you're going to have to go through this little muddy part right here to get to that part. So have faith. Be well, y'all. Be safe. I love you. That's all I got for you. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you're celebrating. Happy solstice, winter solstice. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.